Okay, so I always say I'm not going to, and then I do. I am addicted. Is it justified or like worthwhile? I guess we will find out once again today. Welcome back to another Thread Up haul. Woo! Let me tell ya, I, I am very excited. There is a lot in here and I actually feel pretty hopeful, but I haven't had the best luck recently with Thread Up. The thing is, they get ya. Because when you return stuff to be able to like basically save or get back all of your money, they hold it in a little, a little account for you so that you can go back in and reshop and just keep shopping until you spend all your money and find the items that you like. Does that make sense? I felt like that was a very roundabout way of <laughs> explaining what a credit is. You get a credit on there, otherwise you don't get your full refund. So I kind of just keep doing it on a loop and uh, this time I will say I spent a little over what my credit was. I was just in the mood um, and I hope some of this stuff works. I really do. Some of these items have been in my like favorited folder for a long time and I finally grabbed them. One pair of pants in particular that I've been eyeing, so I'm excited to try it. I do have a bit of advice before we get in. Don't ever pay full price on ThreadUp. I don't know what you guys think, but in my opinion, the prices have certainly gone up since I feel like I, at least I started using ThreadUp. Um, and I feel like a lot of times the prices really aren't justified. However, they do seem to have a lot of sales. So put your favorites in your little favorite folder and wait until a sale hits and that item goes on sale. They have sales up to like 60%, 70%. And so I always wait for those, which is why like this one pair of pants that I'm like so excited to try on, I've been kind of like just keeping an eye on and it finally went on like super mega sale. So yeah, that's my tip and trick for uh, using thread up. Let's do it. I've been talking about these pants that I really want to try on. Should we do it first or last? We'll leave them for last because I'm most excited about them. Let's start off with two items and put a little outfit together off the bat. First up is this Disney shirt. I, okay, I'm not a big like Disney collector. I don't wear a lot of Disney merch. Like it's not really my thing, but we do like to go to Disneyland once in a while and we had had plans to go. And so I had a bunch of Disney t-shirts in my folders and this one went on sale and this was the one I really wanted to try. And I mean, come on, it's so fun. I'm all about that print. It's such a great looking size too. It's that delicious, um, soft, kind of vintage feel as well. This is an original Disney uh, shirt, Mickey Mouse and extra small. I should do a price check just to see. So they had this price at $13.99 and I got it for $10.50, which I actually was shocked that this was priced at $13.99, groovy. The next one, I'm just gonna read about it and then show it to you, they're made well jeans and they are in a size 24 petite. They originally were listed here as $37.99 with this discount that I got $24.67, which for a pair of made well jeans in a petite nonetheless, and here they are. They look like they're in great condition. I always choose in the filter options, uh, either like new or new with tags. I'm sure I can get even better deals if I did gently used. I just always seem to go for or feel safer with uh, like new or new with tags. So here's the main well jeans. They look really nice. They look teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, but let's give this outfit a try. Yahoo! Is this giving anyone else just from like this POV, like Halloween vibes? I don't know why it's giving me like total Halloween vibes. Not mad about it. Cause it's like the orange, whatever. Okay, take a look. Here it is. I think this is so cute. I'm like ready to go to Disneyland. I love this shirt. T-shirts? T-shirts aren't as easy as they present themselves to be. At least for me, I feel like it takes a lot to find the perfect fit of a t-shirt because I'm short, but I have boobs, like, uh, and I have thicker arms, like the whole thing. I don't, that sounds absurd, but does anyone, is anyone else with me? I feel like yesterday I talked about 
this whole t-shirt and jeans idea and maybe I just sort of like stuck with me from my past of like having trouble finding a t-shirt jean combo that I was comfortable in. So anyways, I obviously feel very passionate about this shirt. I think it's so cute. The length is perfect. It fits like a charm. I love how thin the material is. Like way to go Disney, way to nail the game. This is just absolutely adorable. I probably could have sized up one, not that that was an option, um, but I do like the shortness of this and I think it fits great. I will absolutely be keeping this. Yes, it deserves a dance. Perhaps an iced tea. A moment for my iced tea, everybody. These denim. I don't know if you guys saw the video where I cut a pair of Madewell pants into shorts and epically failed. I really regret doing that because those were a good pair. They were a little bit big on me, but like, <clears throat> kind of regret that choice. So I was excited to try these. I mean, listen, they fit. Uh, they're great in the waist. The issue is they're pretty slim fit. Like they are so slim fit that you could see these like lines back here where my legs were just like, help, we're suffocating. They kind of look like leggings. I don't know, they're not terrible, but they're like super skinny jeans, like skinny jeans to the maximum capacity. I feel like Jeff will love these, um, but they might just be a little too tight for me. What do you guys think? They got a good stretch. You know what I mean? Oh, fashion guru. Uh, I mean, they could like loosen up. I don't know, I'll be curious to hear your thoughts on this, but overall, oh yes, thread up came through, finally. I love this shirt. Like, I don't think I would wear it like out and about normally. I'm just not that Disney person, but like, it's so cute. Gotta go to Disneyland now. This is popping out and looking at me, so let's get to it. I don't know why I got this, if I'm being honest. It's been in my favorites folder for a while, and then it was on mega sale, and I think I was like, all right, it's on like super mega sale, we might as well try. Oh, it almost had its tag on it, which means I probably got a better deal on it than it normally would have been. It's really cute, let's read about it. I think this was one of those items that I was like, oh, that would normally be very expensive, so like, let's grab it and like hope for the best. Okay, this is HD in Paris. They mark it as a casual dress, but it doesn't look very casual to me. A uh, size extra small. I, uh, it was listed for $26.99. I got it for $14.85. And then when they originally listed it, which they don't have on there anymore, and it kind of drives me nuts, but like they originally said like the original cost was like over $100. So I was like, well, if I can get this over $100 dress for $14.85, and if it's awesome, because I really like the print and like, colors of it then like big score for me full transparency i already tried this on this was the only thing i tried on when it came in because i was excited about it uh let me put it on and we shall discuss <sighs> i want this to work so bad to the point where i'm like one should i go get it fixed and two should i just give it to a friend who it will fit because i think this is so cute stepping back i mean obviously it's just so big on me this again is why i like the newly serviced in petite sizes because this is an extra small and it fits like well around the waist and stuff. It's just far too long, like the proportions are off. So it's a shame. I mean, I love the colors. I love the idea of it. I think it's just really fun. There's pockets here. It's giving me kind of a vintage vibe. Um, I mean, I could belt it to help lift this up and or get it like shorten because she could in theory my seamstress is amazing i haven't been to her in a while because it gets expensive and i know you guys want me to learn how to sew guys i can't even like uh, all right well, a video for another day maybe we'll try but threading the needle alone was like driving me nuts okay so anyways back to this um in theory this could be lifted up right and then this would have to be I guess taken up too, because the top is a little bit 
Uh, I feel like it's a little bit more work than it's worth. That being said, should I keep this and like put it on Poshmark? Because I mean, it is a wonderful piece and I do feel like they definitely discounted it way too much. So I could probably like do pretty well with it. Do you know what I mean? For all my like resellers out there, let me know what you think. <sighs> oh, I want it to work. I think she's fabulous and I feel like if it did fit right, it would just be delightful. Ooh, maybe I'll have my mom try this on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep going. If everything else works perfectly, then maybe I keep it. But if I do a return, then I'm gonna return it. Does that make sense? Guys, thanks for talking this through. You guys are my best friends. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, yes. I am on a romper kick. I talked about it yesterday, and actually I have another romper to try on that I thrifted from Newly. Um, but I'm just all about like a romp, short romper summer. It's just easy, it's cute. I'm all about making, getting dressed easy and like making look put together so easy. And rompers do just that. It's like you just throw it on, it looks like you're trendy and you tried, but you really didn't do anything. So love that for us. I have been avoiding Shein, Shein, Shein. Um, I think I did a video for the, about them a long time ago and I've just been avoiding it. I've heard bad things about their practices and blah, blah, blah. But I figured uh, since this is thrifted, I feel a little bit better about it. Um, so thank you for uh, understanding that. Uh, this is an extra small and it looks huge. Um, love the color though, this olive. I had, I was like kind of going between two different rompers on there. This was like maybe a little bit more expensive, but I liked the overall look of it. I thought it was just super cute. So let me try her on. Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> Please look at this. What? I feel like I look like a Willy Wonka character. You know what I mean? Um, all right, let's at least give this a good old fashioned try. I really like the color and I like the buttons on it. I like the idea behind it. I mean, I guess that's a little bit better. It's just so much fabric. Yeah, this is gonna be a no for me, Shein. Um, right? Right, guys? Or is it kinda cute? It's too big, right? It's got a lot of fabric going on. I like the idea of it. I really like this. I don't mind like a loose fit situation, but this might just be a little bit too loose fit situation. Let's see how much we got it for though. They had it originally listed at $24.99. I got it for $18.75. Yeah, this is gonna go back for sure. I like the idea behind it, but I definitely think for $18.75, especially on thread up, we can do better. I mean, I got the Everlane one from Crossroads Training for like $24 and it was significantly better. So I feel like I'd rather spend that and get that quality than spend this and get this. This is hysterical though. Yes! It's not even pockets. I'm over it. Last step and then the finale will do the romper. Go with me on this. Leave it to me to be like way behind on a trend. I remember like last season the trend was like metallic pants. So I was like constantly looking up metallic pants on ThreadUp and then I never ever ended, get, ended up getting any of them um, because none of them were on sale and then these went on sale. And I have been eyeing these forever and I do really need like nice pants. Like sometimes I go to like a play or like my dinner or something that I don't always want to wear a dress, but I don't want to wear jeans. I need like a slack, you know what I mean? But like a cute one. So I'm hoping these work. I don't know how to style them. So if they work, I'll need your help styling them. But I thought these were so cute. These are a J Crew silver, right? Silver? A uh, silver like paisley embroidered pant. And they claim to be high rise. They are a trouser looking fellow. And I just think that they are really gorgeous. Again, I have no idea how to style these or what to do with these, but I love the idea of them. That's not a good way to shop, but here we are. Before I put them on, Let's get some more information. Um, I got these in a size zero. They are not petite, however, so I imagine they're gonna be a little bit long. They uh, were listed at $18.99, got them for $14.25, love that. 
They claim to be a boyfriend high-rise waist. Let's see if those claims are correct. All right, hi, I absolutely hate them. <laughs> Stepping back, take a look. I mean, they're not the worst pants I've ever tried on, specifically from ThreadUp, but they're certainly not the best. I mean, whoa, they have zippers on the pockets? That's kind of fun. They're so structured and so thick. Like, it really does feel like I'm wearing like a very fancy curtain on my leg. Um, and, you know, I don't love that about them. <laughs> I also really don't like the bottoms, the way that they taper. I guess I was hoping they would be a little bit more wide leg at the bottom. They're also like tight. I mean, I don't know. They just, it's just not it guys. And I'm kind of sad about it. They, they look more white on than they did uh, online. And I mean, a white pant in general is difficult, but yeah, I feel like if they were a little bit wider all together, that would be pretty cute. They're also a little bit lower of a ride than I was expecting. Um, so yeah, these are definitely a return. So that means I'll probably return that dress as well. So how did I do now that I'm like reflecting back? I think the only thing I'm probably ending up keeping is the Disney shirt. Wow, this went from like really positive to another like total fail. But this sure is really cute. I'm really excited about this. You know, bummer. I guess the lesson I've learned is that I just keep going back to thread up, even though it never really treats me well. It just gives me little nuggets of joy, and so they just keep going. Um, but also, I think I just have to shop petite. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's just it. And or like junior brands that I'm comfortable with and know that I do well with, like a Roxy or, and you know, all those surfer brands. Anything like. Brass Plum-ish. Is Brass Plum still around? You get my vibe? Um, so I just need to be a little bit more mindful when I pick the brands and not just go for stuff that's cute. So there's that. Um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts as always about Thread Up. I felt like last time I did a like, call to action to hear your thoughts about Thread Up and it was really interesting. I'll leave the link to last Thread Up's video if anyone wants to look through at what other people's experiences are. But please down below, keep communicating because I'm sure all these companies, like they're constantly changing and growing. I do think they're probably listening to feedback, especially from their larger creators that they're partnered with. So I'll be curious to see how the company continues to like, um, develop and change and better themselves hopefully i do like the service a lot in that it's just so fun to like not have to go into a thrift store all the time it's that's an exhausting process on its own and i love to online window shop so it's just fun to go on thread up and like put things in your favorite folder and kind of watch them so i think that's ultimately why i like using the service even though i've struck out so many times before I go, I do want to try on one more item, a little bonus item. Newly started a thrift. I don't, actually, I don't know if they just started. I just became aware of. Newly um, not only does their rental service, but they also have like a Poshmark service on there or like a app called like Newly Thrift. So you can also post your own stuff or you can shop on there. And then Newly itself also sells on there for like items that they're no longer renting, but they have some left over. And that's where I got this romper, please hold. I showed this in yesterday's video. I just was on the hunt for like a really fun, like I told you, I'm a romper girl summer right now, but a really fun, funky printed one. There's another company called uh, New Works that I think is based out of Los Angeles. This is also based out of Los Angeles. And a lot of people and a lot of my friends wear their stuff. It's so expensive. And now I'm seeing it everywhere. So I kind of like the idea that like, not only did I thrift this, which is great, because even trying to like, Thrift or Poshmark, whatever, like um, New Works, it's still so expensive because the price point was originally so high. Uh, so not only was I able to thrift this at a re reasonable amount, okay, it was still like in the 50s or 60s, um, but I also like that it's just a little bit different than everything um, I'm seeing out there on the streets. So this is Dami LA. I'll leave the link below. Um, let me try this on for you. Oh, don't mind me. Just living my best 70s tennis attire. Like, come on. I realize it's probably not everyone's jam, but this is just so fun to me. I love it. It fits like a glove. I mean, there's a little extra fabric in here. It's nothing that like I'm totally like offended by. I suppose I could like kind of, it's nice like elastic. I could probably tuck it in a little bit, but 
I just think it is so fun, so cute, and just, I don't know, y'all. I just wanted to try this trend, and I feel like this is a good version of it for me. Just super fun. This would be fun to like wear to the beach or to a Sunday brunch or whatever. Is it silly? I like it. I'll tell you what, it's better than all the other things I just tried on, so I'll take that as a win. I hope that you guys had fun today. I really enjoy doing thread ups with you. It's just kind of interesting, and I also feel like it gives some insight into what's going on on that website. So hopefully it's helpful for you guys. If you do enjoy it, please let me know uh, by leaving a comment and giving the video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. I've been seeing people being like, oh my God, you're still here? Like your video randomly popped up. I haven't watched you in years. And I'm like, yes, I'm still here. Like from all the way back here from the algorithm. I'm like, I'm here Mondays through Thursdays. So anything you guys do by liking, favoriting, commenting, all that stuff is so helpful for me. And it just takes a second, but that second is so appreciative, appreciated. Um, and I'm very appreciative. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Tomorrow we'll have a story time and fold situation. And then Thursday we have a very official, very big Old Navy haul. All right, y'all, I'll see you then. Just hands, 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 hands.